Hi everyone. You're all getting the notification, so you'll be jumping on here. Say hello when you're on so I can make sure I can see all the chats. Hi, Terry. Hey, D. Hey, Gloria. All right. Cool. Cool stuff. I need some paper. Paper, paper, paper. You guys, <laughs> Leah made fun of me today. Hey, Carolyn. Hey, Stacy. Hey, Angela. Hey, Deanna. Hi, other Terry. Hey, Laura. Oh my gosh, it's the uh, it's the whole foiling foiling snobs club. <laughs> well, you know we're all under quarantine, so what else is there to do? Hey, Cheryl. Hey, Susie. Hi, John. Hi, Aid. Oh, I'm glad. Foiling with the paint. Cool. Gloria got her card. Hopefully, most everybody got their cards. Hi, Mariska. Snowing. Will you keep that snow? I do not want any snow. I want it to warm up. Hi, Chow. All right, so I've been playing. Leah, Leah's like laughing at me because I keep doing all this cool stuff with the little joy. Let me show you guys what I made today. I already went out and put it in the car. Um, after my dad um, left the military, he became a cop. And so I made myself one of these um, blue line decals. I put it on my car already. So I made that with the little baby joy. I love that little machine. I'm having so much fun with it. All right, let's see here. Oh, you guys have the flu. Yuck. Hope you feel better, D. Hi, Marie. Um, what else have I done with the little baby uh, cricket? Um, I went, <laughs> so my um, Joann's has um I don't know what that means oh I see what it means okay sorry somebody was texting me an issue um my Joann's does not have any of the Cricut Joy Smart Vinyl or any of this stuff on sale, okay? So I went to a Michael's in the next town over the other day, and it had buy one, get one half off. So I bought a couple things. Well, today I'm messing around making projects, and I realized that I should probably try out their Cricut tape because it's our transfer tape because it's this is the strong grip, and I only have, like, the contact paper, which is not strong grip. Anyway... I go into my Joann's and my Joann's, I'm like, hey, will you match the buy one, get one half off deal? And they're like, no. I'm like, okay, well, I'll just go down the street to Michael's. And the lady's like, okay. So I go down the street to my Michael's, the close one to me. And the Michael's is closing, going out of business because they're moving to a bigger store because they are one of the stores that's going to get one of the, my AC more, two AC Moors near me closed. So my Michael's is going to be bigger, which is great. But I'm like, there's nothing in the store. So I had to go back to Joann's and put my tail between my legs and was like, will you please do the buy one, get one free? Well, here, I only bought one vinyl and the transfer tape, which was like $8. So the lady's like, okay. <laughs> but while I was there, Leah and I, um, we got the full-size infusible Cricut ink because we need to make our Nancy Stamps shirts for the show in Allentown in two weeks. And if the show does not go on, I'm going to be very, very upset. I've been looking forward to the show. Um, but I get it. Everybody's health and safety is more important than... Stuff is falling all over my table behind me. 
But I want to show you. So this was on sale for $14, and it comes with four infusible ink sheets. The, the small infusible ink sheets were $8. So, of course, I went with the better value. Let's see. Melissa. Ooh, Melissa got a Gemini foil press. Yes, girl. Yes, I did figure out the Cricut X Access Chow. Thank you so much. You guys have been giving me so many comments on the on the uh, Cricut. You guys are all helping me out with everything. I love it. Non Cricut vinyl to cut it with the joy without use. Oh yeah, yeah, that's true. Okay, so this comes with instructions but I wanted to show you now it looks dull but when you do the iron on it's very bright so this one is like a rainbow pattern of unicorns butterflies diamonds wings uh, rainbows so that's gonna go on Leah's shirt and then we'll cut out what I normally do is I cut out a design and then I put Nancy stamps and then I put our names on it and then this one is just butterflies ombre so um, I'll put like Nancy stamps and then I said we'll do a butterfly this year on our shirts and then on the back we'll put Nancy and Leah um, on there so you'll know it's us when you see us just want to show you that okay and or something else I wanted to show you. I don't remember. Okay. All of our events are closed if it has 250 people. Gloria used to work at Michael's. Aw. All right. So here's what I found. They had buy two, get one free on Tim Holtz and Heidi Swap products. So I was like, okay, what are we looking at? Well, first thing I got was this stamp cleaner because I want to see if this is going to work or not. It's got glue dots on the bottom of it. Come on, really? Are we worried about it shaking itself out of the box? I can't get it off. Anyway, it's got a glue dot on it. So the cleaner was around $10. Then I found an empty stamp pad with the stamp I think it has the thing inside I don't know I'm trying to get it open they had the toner the toner was I want to say eight or nine dollars for the bottle of toner they had a refill of the stamp pads this was I think twelve dollars yeah so this comes with a stamp pad in it you can buy the refill of these things for a couple bucks I did not buy them because I'll just use my stamp and uh, what do you call it cut and dry foam oh let's see if this is uh, backwards too this is backwards too I guess they're all manufactured that way that just surprises me but whatever okay and then I found, dun, 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 I found the Heidi Swap Clear Texture Paste. Now, on this side, I have the Discontinued Reactive Paint. Both of them are three fluid ounces. Both of them are clear. Now, in terms of consistency, oh, I'm actually going to put it in this ink pad, which is why I bought it. But let me put a little dab on some paper first. Normally, I store this this way because sometimes this does get a little kind of runny. This is like, to me, the consistency of glue. Okay, so you know when our glue, glue comes out, it's a little liquidy. So I normally store this like this because I don't want it all running out, okay? This is also clear texture paste, but it's white and it really looks like glue. 
oh, that's where the smell came from. Remember I couldn't put my finger on what that toner smell was? There it is. I knew I smelled it before. It smells like Heidi Swap. That's her stuff. Okay. And then here is the Reactive Screen Ink, which is more, th way more thicker. I mean, that's like a paint. Okay, so consistency-wise, it looks like when she changed her texture paste, um, when she changed her texture paste, it went from being a little bit um, thicker. It went to be a little thicker, but it's not as thick as the paint, and the paint is white, or the ink. I keep calling it paint. The ink is white. And in this screen ink, you only get 1.7 ounces. So you get three full ounces of this stuff. So here is what I want to, my theory, we don't know if it's going to work or not, but I'm going to try it for the sake of you guys, is we're going to put this texture paste in the ink pad. Now, is it going to stamp out better? I don't know. It may not. I did have success today with the ink pad if you missed that video what i found out is that the ink pad works better after a few days once it's been sitting the toner ink has been sitting in the ink pad and you let it sit for a few days now what is nice is that um mine stuck to the lid so it had a pretty airtight thing um, it does still dry out like the ink is not as fluid because mine kept coming out like this. It was stuck to the thing. It's not as fluid. It's not completely airtight. But I I, con I compared it to stale peeps. Like, to me, stale peeps are better than fresh peeps. And I said, if you don't like peeps, I'll be happy to take donations of peeps. But um, my point is, it just worked better once the toner ink had been sitting. And my toner ink has been, man, what is it, two weeks old now, guys? And I'm using the same ink pad. So... The one in the middle you're supposed to use with stencils. You can use any of these with stencils. You can use Mod Podge with stencils. You can use, um, what do you call it? Da, da, da. Duo gel. You can use a deco gel, whatever you want. Now, here's a, here's a little price um, comparison for you guys. If you buy this ink pad, let me grab my receipt. Okay, the ink pad at Joann's was it's free. $12.99, okay? So if you buy the ink pad, it's $12.99. If you buy the toner, the jar, I'm pretty sure the jar is, I want to say around $10, okay? You can, you can buy this separate with this. Or you can buy this separate with four of these pads, okay? It all depends on how much you think you're going to use it. As long as this is in the jar, it will stay good. You got to keep it protected from heat, keep the lid on it. As soon as you expose it to air, it does start to dry. If you buy the whole kit, the kit is $24, $25, $24.99, okay? They didn't have the kit at Joann's. You can order the kit online. But my, my point is, if you wanted to do the cut and dry foam like I was doing, you can buy a whole sheet of cut and dry foam for five bucks. So it's a full eight and a half or eight by ten sheet of cut and dry foam for five or six dollars. And you can buy your own toner ink, let's say, for ten dollars. So for fifteen dollars, you can make your own stamp pad, okay? If, you, if you're not comfortable doing that, you can buy one of these stamp pads. It comes with the foam in there. Um, but just, just remember, this foam is going to dry out, and you're going to have to throw it away. But you can buy the refill ones um, on that. I'm going to try an experiment today. Don't know if it's going to work. That's why we call it an experiment. To see if you can make your own ink pad with cut and dry foam. see how it works. So I actually have a piece of that cut too. 
Yes, I am adding more toner each time I use it, Terry, because it does dry out. All right, so here's what our experiment is today. Our experiment today is the Heidi Swap ink pad versus cut and dry foam using the new clear texture paste. Because I was having success with the mink paint, but it's discontinued now. And then we'll try this cleaner and see how it works. Hi, Connie. And this could be regular cleaner. It could be some super cleaner. We'll find out. Hi, Fox Girl. Oh, it's got a dauber top. That's kind of cool. Okay, it's sealed. I want to break that seal. Not break a nail. Oh, it's really sealed. That's thick foil. Doesn't smell like anything. No weird smell coming out of there. It's cool. Okay, we'll see how this does. We'll test it out later. Okay, so first let's make our ink pads. Where is my handy dandy gift card that I did not clean up from this morning? That's kind of sticky. Maybe I'll just use the other side of it. So I'm going to take the clear texture paste, put them on here. Ideally, if this works, all you have to buy is cut and foam and clear texture paste, and you've spent $15. But we'll find out. It is thick. It is like white glue. It's much thicker than the other stuff was. I love my little Joy Fox girl. There's going to be so many more videos with that thing. I've really been playing around with it. Oh, that got soaked right in. Leah makes fun of me because we went to Joanne's and she saw the little sign and it said, what's it say? Your new bun, your, the Joy, your new best friend and crafting. I don't know. It's something like that. And Leah goes, that's true. Mommy won't stay off of hers. And I was like, what? You don't like Baby Joy? All right, so you really kind of have to press this into the Heidi Swap pad. It's soaked right into the cut and, cut and dry. Let me put some more cut and dry foam. Speaking of Leah, I think she's home from her friend's house. Now the screen ink is like a paint, so keep that in mind. It's a lot thicker. Okay, we're gonna see if this works. I don't know if there's enough product on there. It doesn't look like it. Of course, we don't wanna oversaturate it, but still. The mink is still on sale on Amazon. I think the seller said 15 left when I looked earlier today. It's $39.99 if you don't have a Tuesday morning where you can pick up one. My Tuesday morning didn't have any. So $39.99 is a good price, you guys, for the mini mink. Okay. All right. Do, 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 do. Just make sure, Chow, that you look, um, yeah, you can laminate with it. Just make sure you check to see how much DPI it prints because if it doesn't print super black, then it's not worth it. If, if, you're, if it's not going to print solid images, it's not worth it. Uh, Staples had the one that's similar to the one I use for um, 
79 bucks. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna grab the uh, let's see, let's try a different stamp today. Ooh, this one's pretty. I'll try this one. Got butterflies on it. Hi, Mary. All right, let me write on the back here what we're doing. Um, cut and dry. Heidi Swap. Correct. The higher the DPI, better for... I would say anything over... Like, if you can get it... 600 is, like, standard... So I would say if you can get something that's like 1200 that would be really good. My stamp has um, schmutz on it. Hold on, i got to clean my stamp already. Apparently I did not do a good job last time I used it. Whoopsie. Do over. That's better. I'm using that same matte coated cover cardstock from Marco's Paper. I like the consistency. It's not too runny. It's not getting blobby. We'll see how it does with foiling though. It's 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 like a glue pad is what it's like. I know you guys can't see it. Yeah, not too bad. Okay. I have mini mink over here heating up. We're going to put it on four, which is what we used last time. We're going to put that on top of it to let it warm up. We're going to clean our stamp off and start again. Hi, Renee! Yeah, my little brother printer, I put it, um, Chow, if you check out my Facebook page, I put it on there. It was, um, it's a newer version of mine, and I use that all the time for my regular, like, work stuff. And um, my printing for foiling. This dried up already? It looks like it dried up already. I'm not seeing any of it on the stamp. Whoopsie. Too much talking, not enough stamping. Nance. Some excess on the edge there. Keep in mind, whenever you are doing these um, foiling and stamping exercises, oh, this is disintegrating the stamp pad, that um, these will be thrown out because um, it's essentially it's glue. Ew. Oh, it's, it's drying is what's happening. It's not disintegrating the ink pad. It's drying. You guys see that funky texture that's going on here? The glue is drying, or the screen texture paste, whatever you want to call it. Okay, let's try this again. Squish it in there. This is going to come out blobby because I'm not able to get it on there nice and even. That is weird. Might as well get the regular toner ink out. Okay, we'll try this again. Yeah, it's blobby. 
blabé, blabé. Okay, that idea failed. It's not soaking into the ink pad. That's the problem. All right, we're going to set that aside. Let me grab the toner ink pad again. Let's see if it's still on my good side. middle of my stamp is not getting any toner. Weird. Maybe I need to re-ink again. Well, there's plenty of toner in there. It's coming out. Yee. All right, let's try this. I don't know yet, Connie. We'll find out. It's supposed to be used for the Heidi Swap, uh, toner it's all over my stamp so we'll find out oh maybe I'll make a pretty little design here I'll do like a, a background paper so it doesn't go to waste We'll try the cleaner while that dries. Okay, so I'm gonna let that dry. We're gonna use the cleaner, see how it does. I do like the dauber bottle idea, it's pretty neat. Chow, I have a couple videos on brush shows. Um, this cleaner doesn't seem to be any different than my regular cleaner. This stuff is still stuck in there. Nope. Let me get my little brushy pad out. Where's that at? Hi, Dee Dee. Hi, Luxury Card Store. Okay, so... Spray, spray, spray. That's Hero Arts Cleaner. This is a little uh, cleaning pad. It gets in all the nooks and crannies. That pad is dry. Dries everything off, and we are back in action with nice, clean, no black toner stuck between stamps. Okay. So, it really is not that different. Use your regular cleaner. Okay. Let's start foiling. OK. 
Okay. Hi, Dee, you didn't miss anything. <laughs> I'm using my brand new Color Falls foil, and I love it. I love it. I'm going to use it on everything. Hi, Cynthia. Welcome. Uh, yes, Marie, that stamping scrub used to be a uh, Stampin' Up. I don't know if they still sell it or any anymore. If you don't have, if you can't get that, the little scrubby brush from Close to My Heart, this guy is also pretty good. Uh, or a nail brush from the nail salon. I, I use that. It's upstairs in the sink for cleaning hard to oil stamps. I mean, hard to clean stamps or um, uh, what's that other thing called? I can't speak today. Stencils, that's what I meant to say. Oh, Connie. It's amazing. It's so pretty. And you can go up and down with it. You can go sideways with it. It's holographic. It's rainbow. And it's everything foil should be. I love it. Okay, so we got our mini mink all heated up here. I set it on four because we're using this matte coated cardstock. I am going to dust my little images here and dust the back of my foil pretty side up. And push our air bubbles out, make sure everything's flat. Thanks, Cynthia. I got a ton of foiling videos. We can be friends during the coronavirus lockdown of 2020. Uh, Marie, you'll have to find somebody um, a close to my heart uh, representative that can sell you one. This is the Heidi Swap pad with the new texture paste. wrinkles. No wrinkles. Okay. This is a mini mink. D, if you don't have the mini mink, it's on Amazon for $39.99 again. I put the link on my Facebook page. Pretty side up. Everything's dusted. No wrinkles. Okay, so I just want to show you guys, here is a dirty folder while we're waiting for these guys to cool down.
So this folder has foil stuck on the inside of it. And this is acetone, also known as fingernail polish remover. And you take that and rub on your sheet and it will take the foil and any of the toner stuck on your sheet will lift right off. And it doesn't melt your carrier sheet, just takes the foil and the toner off. So when you make mistakes or when you, things get stuck on the outside, it happens. Now just be careful with your pretty manicures, ladies. But it's a really easy way to clean your sheets off and use them again. See, no more silver elephants. Now my toner sheet is clean. Ta-da! Just wanted to show you guys that. Same thing if you're doing hot foiling and you get the um, hot foil stuck on your dies. That'll take it right off. Well, I have gel polish on, so I'm pretty good. You cannot use Creative Vision Stamps foil with the Spellbinder Glimmer Machine. There's two different types of foiling systems. So Deco foil, Creative Vision Stamps foil, Heidi Swap foil, those are what we call toner foils. These foils do not have an adhesive built into them. So what happens is when you use a product or a medium like Texture Paste, Ranger Texture Paste, the toner ink pad, um, those things have adhesive in them. And what happens is when they go through the mink machine, the mink machine heats them up, the foil sticks. When it comes out of the mink machine, it cools down. Once it's fully cooled, this foil is on a carrier sheet. So the clear carrier sheet comes off and the foil is stuck on your medium. With hot foiling, pretty good. It's not perfect, but it is pretty good. Oh, that rainbow foil just makes it even better. That's pretty good. That was using the Heidi Swap ink pad. So that was using Heidi Swap ink pad with Heidi Swap texture paste. That's pretty stinking good. So here you can see this is the transfer sheet. It's clear. The foil has been released from it. Okay. Hot foil the foil has adhesive built into it. So when it hits a hot surface, like a hot dye, it will transfer on its own. Okay, this is the cut and dry foam. So this is the make our own cut and dry foam with the same clear texture paste. That's so pretty. These are both looking good. Oh, still not perfect, but let me see here. They look pretty good. The Heidi Swap is a little blobby, which I knew was going to happen. There's a little more detail in the cut and dry foam, but there's also some blank areas. So towards the center, it's supposed to be solid here. It's like kind of blobby. And on the other one, it's underfoiled. So one's overfoiled, one's underfoiled, but they still look cool. Like I'll definitely cut these out and use them. And that rainbow falls foil. Oh, color falls. So beautiful. <laughs> Hi, fairy fox. You're not late. Okay, here we go. This is using the toner ink. Will it survive another round? it's okay. It's better. I would say these, these guys all tied. So this is the same problem I had with it the other night. The toner ink, when it gets into thicker areas, this is the issue I had the other day when I was using it. Um, there's not full coverage. And I know it's hard for you guys to see because of the lighting. But if you look at the image, you can see that it's actually gray from the toner ink. It's not actually foiled. So toner ink, 
didn't win this round. No, sir. I think the texture paste did best, and I think it looks best on the this one, the cut and dry foam. There's just more fine line detail on this one. This one's over foiled. This one's the closest to getting good foiling, although this looks gorgeous. The average person's not going to know, but us foiling snob clubs are going to say, this is not completely foiled. There are a lot of blank areas that are not completely foiled on this. It's disguised because the foil is so reflective, you would never know. You know what? I have a good way of testing this. Hold on. I have a solid stamp. Um, you can do that. We did do it, Marie, but it got really messy and then it dried too fast. Right, the black doesn't show through, Judy, correct. The texture paste is now available at Joann's. Okay, so this is a solid circle stamp. So we're gonna continue our little testing here. We're going to do all three on one paper. Thank you, Fairy Fox. How generous. I appreciate that. Yeah, Marie, it was like a really long live I did a couple nights ago. Um, this is the tray that I did it in. And it just dried up and um, it just dried too quickly because it didn't have anything to keep its moisture on. Believe me, I have been testing, testing, testing. I'm the quality assurance tester here. <laughs> Over here, we're going to do toner ink. We're going to do Heidi Swap with the texture paste. And we'll do um, cut and dry. I keep calling that foam. Mm Maybe add a drop of glycerin to keep it moist. That's a good idea. Well, that's what we're trying out. We have cut and dry um, paste in the foam. So that's what we're trying out. So now we're going to see how well we do with solid images. My sisters have me in a group text. Kiki, where are you when I need you? So this is the question everybody keeps asking me. Do you have to keep putting toner ink. So I only used this a few hours ago and notice it's really not, I mean, I can push down on it and some of it kind of oozes out, but it's, it's not on top of the ink pad anymore. And the top of the ink pad is pretty much dried out. So the answer is yes. Every time you want to use the toner ink, you're going to need to put a little bit more on there to re-moisten it. Um, and I think it's the adhesive property of it, which is why it dries so quickly. The actual toner particles, which are just microscopic particles of plastic. So I can definitely stamp with this, but it's not going to be super black. And we want it to be black. So let me get some more toner. And the cut and dry foam I did it on is dried. It's not hard, but it is dry. And I did get good results with the Heidi Swap stamp pad earlier today with the, um, the zebras. So I'm just going to use a little bit of this. Put it on here and give it a second. It soaks in very quickly. Just 
gonna give that a second to soak in. Hi, Christine. Hi, Karen. Hey, Karen, does Stampin' Up! still sell the Stampin' Scrub? Cut and dry foam, Bonnie. It's, uh, here, I'll show it to you guys. This is the cut and dry foam. And it's to make your own ink pads. And I cut a little square of it. It's nice because it has a little heavier foam on the bottom and the soft, squishy, absorbent foam on the top. Oops, the whole dauber lid came off. My fault. Okay, let's try this again. See if it cleans off this toner. Hello, Laura. Yeah, see, it's not doing any different than any other cleaner. There's nothing special about this cleaner. Let me shake it up. Maybe there's stuff on the bottom. Nope. I thought it would, like, smell like cleaner, act like cleaner. It's not any special kind of cleaner. Don't buy it. The cleaner is not special. Look at that. This stuff's stuck all over my stamping block. Nope. Never mind that stuff. All right. Is this all soaked in now? All right, let's try this again. Hi, DJ Leanne. Oh, definitely got some ink there now. Judy, I have not washed it yet. I'm not sure. I can definitely let you know. Hi, Anne Marie. Oh, uh, Karen says they no longer sell the stamp and scrub, scrubby pad. All right, I'm trying to really get good coverage of this because the only way this is going to work is if we get good coverage. We want it to be nice and dark and black without bubbles in it. Well, here we go. rose oh and it is sticking all right we'll see how that comes out well what i've been using is my good old hero arts ultra clean and it's been doing a pretty good job with the scrubby but that stuff smells like cleaner like it smells like windex when you put it on you can smell it's stinky okay now we're gonna try the heidi swap on texture paste on the heidi swap pad I think it's all dried up already. It dried too quickly. I don't think we're going to get anything out of that. Yeah, there's a little bit of something. It pulled off the rest of the toner on my pad. I don't know that there's enough there to do anything with. Oh, Kiki, you're not blowing up my phone anymore. Is there a secret image in your stamp? No, it's a plain circle. Oh, yes. I just got some more Blue Night Rubber stamps. I'm going to make some more videos for you guys. Renee, Arena, you are correct. Okay. Uh, I don't know that any of these is going to work now because I think they all dried up. <laughs> Let's give it a shot. Well, you know what? I'm going to put a little dab of each one. We'll put a little dabby dab in there. 
Hi, Kathy. Yes, Agnes. Foiling is addicting. Wait till you guys see all these little videos I'm going to do on little baby Joy. Love baby Joy. That's a little better. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to stick by that. I said it since day one that there is not a stamping product out there that's going to give us the results that we want. And as much as I would love for this product to work and all of the testing that I've done with it, it really is hit or miss. And if you want guaranteed foiling every time, the only way to get that is to stamp out your image scan it into your computer, get a really good black laser printer, print it out, and then foil it. The rest of this, really guys, is gonna be a waste of your time and your money. And I have tried every suggestion everybody's given me. I have done, if you saw the earlier video, I did embossing powders, I did, um, What's that ink called? I did the Perfect Medium ink. You know, I've, I've tried every way, guys. I'm telling you. I, I, of all people, want this to work. And it's just not. <laughs> all right. I'm going to go with a more solid foil. I know you guys love the rainbow foil, but I think we'll have a better indication with a more solid foil. Oh, yeah, if you have a laser copier, Judy, absolutely. But most people don't have a laser copier. They just have a laser printer. They have an inkjet copier, but inkjet doesn't work. It has to be laser. But if you have a laser copier, yes, go for it. Bye, D. Feel better, hon. Uh, you can get a laser printer now for $79. Staples, brother. It's on my Facebook page. Oh, I'm in love with Baby Joy. Baby Joy and I are making so many things. All right, is this pretty dry enough? We made some cards. We made some decals. Aw, oh, thank you, Karen. You guys are so generous tonight. I love you guys. You guys don't have to do that, but I appreciate it so much. Don't forget, since Judy's on here, it reminded me, Mod Squad Challenge is still going on. You have a couple more days to enter, and since everybody's on quarantine, I don't see why you guys can't enter. Um, you could win $25 from Kitchen Sink Stamps. So easy. All you have to do is enter something with wheels. Something with wheels. No, Kiki, I got two tonight. I got one from Fairy, too. You missed it. Fairy Fox gave me one, too. Okay. I want to make sure I didn't miss any comments there. Okay, so we always want to do foil pretty side up. You want to give it a second to cool. Anything with wheels. Yeah. And we're going to see what works here. Hmm. Interesting. So this is the Heidi Swap Toner ink, which came out pretty good. Like I said, you really pretty much have to re-ink that every time. And it's better when it's a dirty pad versus a clean pad. This is the Heidi Swap 
ink pad. So I took, I bought a blank one of these and I put this texture paste in there for those of you guys that missed it. She changed her texture paste to replace the Heidi Swap paint. And it's a little thicker, but I like it. Works out pretty good. So that's those two. Not too bad. There's still some underfoiled parts there, which I thought it was dried out and that's why I stamped it twice. So that's not too bad. And then the last one is when I did it on the cut and dry. And you can see it's kind of like it missed because it was too dry. I re-inked it and stamped it again, and it came out a little better. So, again, I have not found anything to be 100% perfect. These are pretty good, but nothing out there is 100% perfect unless you do the scan and print. Scan and print is going to give you the best option. Okay, guys, but I know you guys were asking me about the texture paste, and I was really glad to see that. This is pretty much the same as um, deco foil gel. That's what this is. So if you have transfer paste, okay, let me show you. If you guys have any of these in your stash, these will all work the same. So you have Deco Foil Transfer Gel Duo. You have um, Ranger Texture Paste Transparent Gloss. The difference with the Duo is the Duo works supposedly with no heat. Um, you can just let it set out and dry and then do it at a later date. Um, but these products are all the same. And you can do these through stencils and once they're dry through the stencil, then run it through your Mini Mink. And it, it, it will do amazing jobs on that. The secret is these are thicker products. They're glue, basically, is what they are. They're glue. And so when they dry, the mink heats them up, and then the glue sticks to the foil. So this is great for stencils. The problem is when we are doing intricate things like our stamps, you know, all of these little designs in the stamps are very fine areas. And so it's very difficult for these formulas, again, because they are glue, to get into those nooks and crannies and give you the fine detail you're looking for. So there isn't really a product on the market. And I do give Heidi kudos for trying to come out with this product and really, it is hit or miss. Um, I've had some success with it, but mostly misses more than hits. And, you know, for the price range, you know, you're spending basically 10 bucks for a bottle of 15 milliliters of toner ink and it doesn't always work. So I don't know that I would actually, you know, invest in this. It, it does work sometimes, but like you guys said, for how much time and effort you guys have been watching me for the last two weeks trying to get this to work and it has worked in some instances, but there are a lot of instances where I just wasted a lot of product. So um, I think I'm done playing with it and you take away with it what you will. If you like, we had some good samples with, um, some of the stuff that we did today, but you can see you're going to get almost the same results using one of these products. Yeah. I don't know that you need to spend $25 buying that kit. We had good results with other stamps. If you like the distress look, um, you know, here's the, the, Zebras I did today, they came out okay. They're not too bad. And here's the, the most success we've had were these leaves. But again, that's because these are distressed leaves. So it doesn't matter if there's underfoiling or overfoiling because that's how they're supposed to look. So keep that in mind. Um, for me, my personal opinion is still $25 is a lot of money to spend on something I'm going to ultimately throw away. That's how I feel about it. So if I'm going to spend $25, I would rather use something I already have. And if you take this texture paste or these and you spread them out on your own ink pad or some foam, they're going to work pretty close and you're not going to spend $25. And chances are you already have these products in your cabinets. Um, how many of us have Mod Podge? Here's, here's basically the same thing. If you take this Mod Podge and you smear it over a, a cut and dry foam, which is a make your own stamp pad, you can get some stampings out of it. And then you throw this foam away when it's done. Or like Judy said, maybe you can, um, 
you know, wash it out and reuse it. But I don't think spending $25 on this and having to throw it away is worth it when I can go digging through my cabinets and probably already have some of this stuff and make it by myself. And then I don't feel so bad about throwing it out. So, but if you do want perfect foiling, if you want to, you know, be that we joke around about being the foiling snobs, the only way to get that perfect foiling is to scan your image in or copy it on a laser printer, print it out, and then foil it. So there, I think, are my final two cents on this product. Um, you guys have seen I've made four or five videos on using it. And that's where I stand. What do you guys think? Thank you, Luxury Card Store. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh, good night, DJ Leanne. Oh, you go to modsquadchallenge.com. Let me link that for you guys www.modsquadchallenge. Okay. And when you go to Mod Squad Challenge, you're going to, um, it gives you instructions there on how to upload your card. Right, Judy, save the $25 or $50 more and get the laser printer. Correct. Thank you, Rena. Um, but you go to Mod Squad Challenge, you enter the card, and... Um, at the end of the contest period, Tuesdays, um, I randomly pick a winner. That person wins $25, and then I pick out the top three cards that I like the most, and those people get a recognition badge. Okay, so here's final thoughts. Um, texture paste is cool. I don't know that you need it if you have Ranger texture paste or if you have um, other texture paste, pretty much the same thing. I don't like that it comes in a tube because you cannot put it back in the tube where at least the Ranger texture paste comes in a tub. So any excess that I have, I can put back into the tub. So sorry, Heidi. I don't know that I would recommend that. And also, I do not recommend the stamp cleaner. I think the Dauber bottle is pretty cool. There is no smell, but this cleaner is nothing special. Um, it looks like it's a conditioning stamp cleaner because there does seem to be kind of an oily residue to it. So it probably has some glycerin in it. So it probably does a good job at conditioning the stamps, but it did not do a very good job at breaking up the toner ink, which is what it was designed to do. So I would not recommend the toner ink. So I'm gonna say that uh, Joanne's got $30 of my money today that uh, probably shouldn't have gotten. So I would say maybe to this, depending on your situation, Christmas time is probably something we would all want to look back into when you're mass producing 25, 50 cards at a time. You get that stamp pad nice and dirty. After a couple days, you do your mass producing a stamping, you throw it away, then it's probably worth the 25 bucks. But for us everyday stampers, I don't think so. I think you have other things in your stash that you can probably make shift and make it. Um, like I said, the clear texture paste, uh, $10 for that, and I get three ounces where I can buy texture paste for seven, eight bucks, and I get 3.9 ounces. Um, so I get a little bit more, and I can unscrew the lid and put any extra back into the jar. I cannot put any extra back in here. So not going to recommend this when you can buy this. And stamp cleaner, only thing cool about it was the dauber top. It did not do a good job at cleaning off the toner ink. Uh, Hero Arts cleaner works fine for me. So there we go. I am done with my foiling reviews for the toner ink. I think I've done enough testing. If you have any other suggestions, please feel free to email me or comment down below. Um, I do appreciate all of your generous comments and you guys' generosity tonight. I love that. Um, I know, Kiki. I feel so special tonight. Yeah, Bonnie. Great. Right? That's what I said. Um, Kathy, the instructions, if you go to that website, are at the bottom. You have to enter a card. 
You have to make a card, something that has wheels, and you enter the card. So you can um, upload a picture if you have a link to your Facebook or your Instagram or um, if you have a blog. You don't have to have a blog. Usually Facebook or Instagram or Pinterest, one of those. Okay, uh, foiling sale still going on at Creative Vision Stamps. I just had a very long, long conversation with Laura over the phone. I know I kind of scolded you guys earlier in the video. She said she got some very nice emails from people. Um, so thank you guys for that. I know it's not my loyal um, viewers. I know it's people trying to get freebies. I mean, she said there was one person who tried to put four different orders in for the same products. So clearly, you know, she has a two foil limit for a reason per color because she is not going to distribute these they they are for people she wants crafters to have them she doesn't want somebody who's going to try to resell them on ebay or try to um you know just resell them in general so um please be patient with her she is still working it's saturday night she should not be in the office and she's there trying to fulfill you guys's orders and get them out to you so please be patient with her she's doing it all by herself she is not amazon and i do appreciate you guys sending her a uh, nice uh email supporting her and congratulating her on the grandbaby and on her retirement um, what else do you guys got? Can you post the links you want us to buy? Uh, yeah, Karen. Um, actually at the very end of the video, I will link for the mini mink still $39.99 on Amazon. The foiling folders are, you can get two in a pack for under $3 at scrapbook.com. I will link that for you. Of course, the beautiful rainbow falls foil, which I don't know if it's sold out or not. If it's not sold out, it will be sold out very quickly. It is called color falls, not rainbow falls falls color falls foil is at creativevisionstamps.com if you order $25 worth of product before shipping before discount and you put an animals foilables in your cart and you use the code nancy stamps that is the code nancy stamps after you put your foilables in the cart you put nancy stamps in the coupon code the foilables price will come off and those animal foilables will be free Okay, while supplies last. Um, and if you already placed an order, she cannot go back to your order and change it. She can't add it. Uh, you're more than welcome to, to buy more product. Um, but please do not um, ask her, oh, I placed an order yesterday and I placed an order today. Can you put it all in one box and save me shipping? Um, there's just no way for her to do that. Okay. Hi, Katya. I think I sent Katya a card. Hold on. Nope. Katya, you were not on the list for a card. Somebody else in Peru. But if you would like one, you can send me an email and I'll send you a card. Did everybody get their animal cards? Let me know if you didn't get your animal cards. You can email me. Again, Nancy Stamps 15. Where's my little card? Here we go go nancy stamps 15 at gmail.com and i will send you a card if you didn't get one it may not be an animal card it may be something else and then we have mod squad challenge.com and don't forget when you're getting the foil get some foilables get some foilables to go with those foils there's plenty of foilables they have good quality foilables the paper is high quality. The toner is high quality. You can't go wrong. Any other questions or comments? Do you want to see some more videos with Baby Joy? Oh, yes, yeah. solid foilables are a staple. You got to have those. Okay, 
so we'll do more with baby joy she has a lot of potential i think i need to be educated a little more on design space but i'm figuring it out i definitely got more done using it on my ipad and using it on my computer than on my phone so i want to thank you guys for that i think Ch um, chow you were very helpful with sending me some info on that um, so thank you guys for all of your comments on that. I do appreciate it. Um, so I'm actually going to practice using some designs from my Silhouette store, some designs from um, Creative um, Creative Fabrica has sent me some designs and some fonts. And of course, the design space. I'm going to take advantage of that one month for free as well. When Creative Visions is gone, where will you get your foilable designs? Rena? I don't know. <laughs> she supposedly has sold to another company, um, but she has not disclosed any information to me. I did try to ask her a date today. She said she can't talk about it. Um, I asked her who the company was. She said she can't talk about it. So <laughs> all I can do is urge you guys to, to help her with the new grandbaby. Um, that's where all this is going. If you have not seen pictures of that grandbaby, oh my gosh, she is so precious. Um, I know that there are foils that have already sold out. She will not be getting them back in stock. The new Bahama... Um, Bahama Blue, Carib Caribbean, that one's sold out. You're not getting that. Again, it's gone. Um, so, uh, Gloria, yes, I do have the pick scan mat. I haven't played with that in a while. Yeah, Karen, it's not, Baby Joy's not for everybody. It's, um, it's a very small <laughs> machine, so you're very limited in what you can and can't do with it. Um... But, uh, you know, I think for beginners or for people that don't really want to get into learning all the ins and out of computer design, because you really need to kind of have a handle on that if you want to make use of those full-size machines. Um, if you're not doing a lot of that, if you're not doing interior decorating, if you're not doing shirts and things like that, I don't know that you need one of the bigger machines. If you're just going to use a small one just for simple card making and, hey, I need to make a card real quick and I want to do some quick die cutting that's where baby joy comes in handy you're you're right rena i will tell you guys as soon as i hear what's going on gloria i would recommend when you first sign up i signed up on my phone but i think um it would be better if you first sign up on a computer and then just download the app on your phone and all you have to do is log in with your email address Okay, guys, I have some new stamps. Um, still, if you didn't check out the Not Too Shabby release, we still have videos going on for that. There was a blog hop where you guys could win a gift card to Not Too Shabby. Um, we have the Mod Squad Challenge going on right now for kitchen sink stamps. We have um, Blue Knight Rubber Stamps is going to be coming to the show, hopefully, fingers crossed, at the end of this month. So, um, I'll see if she has anything new coming out. So, a lot of good stuff going on. I know it's a little bit of a scary time for everyone, but um, let's all try to do what's asked of us and stay inside and not risk going out if you can help it. Now, I know I just went out today, but I really wanted to see if people were staying in the house. And let me tell you something. People were not staying in the house. They were all at the liquor store because it was right next to Joanne's and I couldn't find a parking spot. Um, but there's a lot of good products that came out and we should try them and see how we do with them and have fun creating, you know, Easter's coming up. We have, um, Mother's Day, you have Father's Day. So there's a lot of occasions that we can relax, not feel stressed, make a couple cards, send them to friends maybe people you know it's a good time to send cards and send well wishes and thinking of you and stuff like that and just kind of be positive about everything and um it will pass everything does and we'll be hopefully more united the as a country we'll be 
healthier, hopefully, as a country, and we'll get through this. Oh, good. Kathy found it. <laughs> Linda, that's my sister, Kelly. She We called her Kiki when she was younger. That was like her alter ego when she was like doing modeling and stuff. She was Kiki, but it's my younger sister, Kelly. Oh, great, Gloria. Oh, that's nice. Luxury card store is going to give it. I have a Toto machine that I would love to sell to someone at the Allentown show because that thing is huge and I do not want to lug it around. I'm definitely not going to mail it to anybody. Um, but I have a Toto machine I would love to sell and have somebody pick up at the, at the stamp show. I'm going to take this foam out and uh, wash it and see what happens with it. <laughs> okay, Connie. <laughs> okay, well, I think that's all for tonight. I will play with Baby Joy, make some new videos for you guys, make some new cards with Blue Night Rubber Stamps, and most likely see you guys back tomorrow. Good night, guys. Keep on crafting. <laughs>